Greetings one and all, how's everyone doing? I hope well. So, a little a little bit overdue on the video, but I'm gonna go over the blades I carry. I got them right here in this bag. Um, yeah. So let's get the camera turned and I'll show them to you. Okay, so. My main knife and probably my favorite is the BK7. Now, I have some custom scales I had made for it, as well as a custom Kydex sheet, which I just love. And then I put a cloth sail needle on the back, which I've never used. And it comes with a ferro rod, which I've also never used. It's everything for a test strike. The second is the Condor Stratos, also one of my favorite knives, and it's riding in a custom Red Rhino sheath with a little um, Altoids tin pouch, which I popped out so I could I could throw my chart in in here, and it has a Velcro on the back. I can just pop it off. Depends on my mood. Sometimes I carry it. Sometimes I don't. Has the LT right GNS, and I just threw a just threw a ferro rod on it with some live fire cordage, which is actually the center of this is a fire starter, and then this is uh, just a super scraper. So it always rides on here. So I always have a tinder plus the blade. Love this knife. The Southwest has a long name. I'll, I'll throw it on the screen. I did a video on this. I bought it at a web, a, um, trade show. I am using a Condor. Actually, the sheath that the Condor Stratos came in is this sheath here. So this came as a package, but it fit this knife perfect, so. And then there's the Mora Black, also with a sail needle on the back, which I've never used. It's a fantastic knife. And it has a barrel rod with just some duct tape around it because the end fell off on me on a trip so I just, you know, threw it on there. And then there's a more carbon, more SG, the carbon steel version, which I still have. I've had this for about five years. It's a really good knife. Okay. So with all these, these are pretty much the six knives I carry 99% of the time. If I know I'm going to be doing some heavy woodwork, I'll bring the BK7 because it's, I know it's a workhorse and I will rely on it every time. Now there are other knives out there, but you know this one is mine. I actually was discussing this knife with somebody on a forum page on a, a Facebook group and I said I wouldn't trade this for a $300 knife and you know of course they disagreed and said well you can just go buy another one it's like that's true but it wouldn't be this one you know the wear and tear is my wear and tear you know the scratches everything on here the you know the, the blemishes everything is what I put on here you know I put the scales on I'm the one who put the put the sharpening to it you know, the edge is my edge. And I could go buy another one, but it really wouldn't be the same and it wouldn't hold any sentimental value. So I wouldn't get rid of this knife. I wouldn't trade it for a more valuable knife because then it's like, well, did you really like your knife if you're just going to give it away so easily? And I would not. You know, some people like their BK2, awesome. Some people like the BK5, also a great blade. You know, this is my favorite, probably my favorite knife. And it doesn't come on every trip. Sometimes I leave it home. 
the second knife that I will take is sort of a toss up between this Condor Stratos or the GNS. Now either one of these could act as a main and I would have no problem relying on each one of them. They've both been very good. You know, the Stratos, Stratos is actually a lot better than I thought it was going to be. I mean, I like the look of it originally, initially. I like the big handle because I have big hands. I've never had any problems with it. I would, I would trust my life with this knife as well. So then there's the LT Wright GNS. Um, also, I would trust my life to this knife as well. You know, it's been very good. I'll bring it often. And sometimes I'll do too is I'll, I'll bring the BK7 as my main, but I'll bring the GNS as my backup. Like I'll put this on my belt and carry it around and I'll have this in my pack or next to my pack just depending on what I'm doing that day. Or I'll throw in the Stratos and combo those if I want just because I can. I don't really care that much about the weight. Now for backup knives, I always carry a spare. You know, this one it's, I think it's called like the Bird Beak, the Southwest Bird Beak, I think it is. It's got, a, it's got a kind of a funny name. I had a gentleman try to buy one of these off their website, and uh, they're always on the road, like doing shows and whatnot, selling their knives, so it's, they're kind of hard to get a hold of. And then when they did, he told me that, you know, they sent him the wrong blade. He wanted the one with the sinew notch here. And they sent him the wrong one, you know, oops. They're kind of an older couple. They, were, they seemed really nice. I didn't really talk to them a whole lot, but... You know, people make mistakes, it happens. And then I would, then the, the Mora Black would also be a good backup blade for me. And on, on some outings, I've actually carried this as my main, just because of what I'm doing. If, I go, if I'm doing a hike, I usually will bring like a lighter knife, just because I don't normally go out needing a knife on a hike. Plus it has a plastic sheath. And when I'm sweating a lot, this is why I don't bring leather on hikes typically because if I'm sweating a bunch, I don't want to get sweat all over the leather. So, it really just depends. I mean, a lot of, a lot of it just depends on my mood. So, just what, I want to, what I'm doing that day or what I want to do, you know, any, any one of these knives will work for me. I just I love them all. They're, just, they're all just good knives, and so it just depends on what I want to do and what kind of combination I want to carry. Like sometimes I'll take this one and this one, or I'll just take this one and this one, or these two, or this and any any one of these. Just you know whatever. I have a few other knives at home, but I don't really take them out as often as I take these. So and this one I really haven't been having out as as often, but it's still a great knife. I mean. You gotta love the Mora. It's just a great little camp knife. And then the Mora Black. Also a great camp knife. Stratos. Let's see, pop this off real quick just to show you. I'll take this one on a, on, a, on a hike as well, just because I don't have to worry about, I don't really worry as much about the, the Kydex getting sweaty. I don't know what they weigh, and it doesn't really bother me what they weigh, it's, just, it's what their function is, or if I just want to carry them. And of course, LT Wright is a, is a name known for quality, quality cutlery. So, all right. Alright, so that's it. Those are the knives I carry the most. Um, you know, there are a lot of great knives out there on the market right now. A lot of terrific blades. You know, there's so many to choose from. You can pick the steel you like, the shape you like, the handle you like, custom, mass produced, whatever. You know, I mean, a lot of great knives. Is any one better than the other? You know, it's really hard to say because, you know, a lot of people like a lot of different things. So, you know, whatever you want to do options. I mean, you could spend $20 or more or, you know, $500 on some 
really sweet custom blades. Just whatever you want, you know. So, as always, thanks for watching. Appreciate your views. I'll catch you next one.